This is the DJI Inspire 1. It's brand new um, and it's a, a professional level integrated flying camera. Obviously the industrial design uh, is completely new for this, this class of product. Um, it is a transforming design which means that these arms come up into a V-shape, uh, drops the body and the camera below any of the landing structures so you have a full 360 degree uh, view from the camera. Um, the camera is also new. It's uh, gimbal stabilized in three axes. It's a 4K camera uh, which shoots up to 30p in 4K and uh, up to 60p in 1080. The gimbal is, and the gimbal and camera are modular, which means that you can just pop it off here with a quick release for replacement or future upgrade. There's a new sensor package here on the bottom. This is our optical flow stabilization uh, system, which includes both ultrasonic, send and receive, and uh, an optical flow camera. And what that does is essentially allow the Inspire One to stabilize itself even without GPS positioning. So if you're flying indoors or you're flying at low altitudes or say under the canopy in a forest, um, you'll still be able to fly in a stabilized way with position hold. Uh, so that's really interesting. It also assists with things like auto takeoff and auto landing since we can measure the distance to the ground instead of using um, GPS or a barometer which don't tell you where the ground is. The propulsion system is also completely new for us. Um, it's much more powerful. It uses this uh, six cell battery, this 22 volt battery, um, which is pretty beefy. 13 inch propellers with um, new super high performance electronic speed controllers. Um, one of the big differences that our early pilots have noted is that if you're flying along at speed and you let go of the sticks, uh, which will make it try to hold position, it will just basically stop in place. Um, it's kind of like having built in air brakes. The battery is also a lot smarter. You know, we uh, released our first smart batteries with the Phantom series. Uh, these allow individual cell mon monitoring and also charge cycle counting. So using the app, you can, you can check out the health of the, of the battery so that you know when, uh, when to swap it out. All right, let's move on to the remote control. Um, but one of the things you notice is it has two antennas. These are for Lightbridge. Now this unit, the Inspire One, has Lightbridge built in, which is um, something that we actually sell as a, as a standalone product for high definition video, uh, wireless video transport. Um, so what that means is we are actually transmitting live high definition video from the Inspire One to the radio and that's why we have all these ports in the back. So we have a, a USB port for connection to a smart device, um, iPad, iPhone or Android device and we also have an HDMI output which is a mini HDMI out um, so you can attach any field monitor um, and uh, either for, for just for viewing or for recording. Uh, there are a couple other ports, one's a proprietary uh, expansion port and the other is a um, micro USB port for upgrades. There are also a bunch of buttons and dials on here. Um, these are a little bit of a departure from the traditional uh, RC controllers you see with, with all the switches. Um, we have buttons to start and stop video, to take a picture, uh, to play back the last picture uh, you've taken. Um, this is a rocker for gimbal control, for pitch control. And this is a dial and a button uh, for uh, camera settings. So you can change exposure, you can change ISO, and you can change shutter speed uh, in full manual um, by toggling and, uh, and turning this dial. So you can be pretty much hands-on the, the radio while flying and taking pictures. We also support dual operator control. Uh, this is something that's used um, pretty much, it's very common in the high end. Um, any kind of production, you're going to have a pilot and a dedicated camera operator. So with a second radio, a second remote control, uh, which is identical, um, you can control, have one person controlling just the camera and gimbal. And that includes the full, th full movement of the camera and gimbal, as well as all of these controls for, for camera settings and taking pictures. And, um, and the pilot can focus on, on flying.